Hi, and we're back again. I'm picking up where we left off in the last episode. Um, in the last episode, we uh, we just tried to speak with Lady Clark. We were finding out that the nurse was supposed to come and give the injection, and she's not. She's not coming, and Miss Gray has left. So that leaves Mr. Hucky Perot to administer um, meds for her. So, um, let's see what we can find. Um, well, there's... April 1925, Aceh Province, Sumatra. So somebody, somebody likes to hunt things. Uh, so long as it's being done properly, I, I can't really say anything about that. Um, Because, you know, each their own. It is not the right time. Um. Lady Clark is in pain. Okay, so that's not where the meds are. All right, I know where the meds are then. Yay. Uh, obviously, they're upstairs, but where exactly? And I keep hitting the table today. I'm so sorry. Um. So... Lady Clark. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I see shiny things on the floor, and I want to pick them up. Lady Clark. Okay. Jeep bus. All right, so. Ah, oh, Mr. Poirot. Oh, I feel better now. Thank you for your help. I, I, I apologize uh, for the background noise. Um, our roommates are home, and so uh, their their daughter is having a very loud conversation. That's great. So it's awesome. Um, so you asked for me, cher madame. Yes, yes, of course. I wish to speak with you. But what was it about? No doubt. You wish to talk to me about what happened to your husband? Ah, yes. Oh, poor Carmichael. Has the madman who killed him been caught? Not yet, Aww. chère madame. There was a great many people in Chester on the day of the murder. Indeed. People go straight to the beach. They don't come near Coombside. So, there were no strangers around the house that day? Who said that? The people who live here. Your brother-in-law, Miss Gray. Miss Gray? Oh, I don't like her. Franklin wanted her to stay, but I insisted she should go immediately. Hmm. You are entitled to do so, naturally. I'm pleased that you approve. The others have been taken in by her. But at least you can see through that self-pity act. See what she's up to. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why she feels that way about Miss Gray. She's sleeping. I must find a way to wake her up gently. Oh. Well, she's sleeping. This subject will probably be useful to me. Okay. I've finished with this subject. All right, all right. This subject would probably be useful to me. This subject would Sorry, probably I saw that, be so useful that's to why me. I grab. Oh, okay. All righty. This couple appears to be having fun. Lady Clark and Sir Carmichael were very happy, but they did not have any children. Hmm. Well then, that happens. Okay, let's look around. Let's make sure there's nothing special about this box because 
We tend to know how that happens. Okay. Oh, we've got a broken spring. Which can be dealt with. This spring appears to be broken. I hope that Hastings will not be cross with me. So, okay. There's a one. There's two. And a three. I'm sure you guys have probably made mention of my poor um, mouse skills on this one. I wish I could say it was completely me. Um, well, it probably is completely me. Um, but anyway. Okay, yay. So let's... What are we talking about? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Thora Gray. Oh, Carmichael had great esteem for her. But for me, she was nothing but a hypocrite. Hmm. Miss Gray was a hard worker, though. Thank goodness. Fortunately, she was good at her job. I don't see why you all think... You should have to defend that girl. Well, mm. I appear to have been wrong about Thora Gray. So you all agree how nice it is to be all of the same mind. Hmm. Franklin really idealized Miss Gray. Absolutely. It's so good to uh, see that you all agree with me. Miss Gray did look after you very well, though. Outwardly. But she's hiding something. I think she tried to poison me. Miss Gray? A poisoner? But everybody appears to like her. It proves she knows what she's doing. She's manipulative hmm. and she's a liar. A liar? Let's see, didn't she say that on the day of the crime nobody was around Coombside? That is correct. Well, at 11 o'clock I saw her talking to someone. Really? And what was this man like? An ordinary sort of man, with a very plain face. Oh, I don't remember well. Was he a gentleman? Hmm. No, he was not, not a gentleman. It would be best to leave her to sleep now. Okay. The telephone in the hall is ringing. Well, we kind of have to go get that now. Again. Hello? Poirot, is that you? Hastings here. Thank you for calling. Have you received a new letter from the murderer? No, thank goodness. How are things in Churston? I question Lady Clark, but I will not leave until I have examined everything of interest to me here. Fortunately, Franklin is absent, and I have a skeleton key. Have you seen Thora Gray again? Briefly. But rest assured, I intend to summon her to London soon. She's a fascinating girl. But secretive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Poirot, she wouldn't hurt mm. a fly. Each to his own, my friend. Yours are pretty often mine old ladies that have the maladies. Poirot, are you mocking me? No ill intended, <laughs> rest assured. A bientôt, mon ami. All right, so um, I think we've done most of the upstairs, but we could see about this 
room. All right. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of puzzles, so I'm going to cut this one short. Um, because I've had a couple go over, it's only fair that I, I make you guys suffer a little bit this week. Um, so I will cut this off here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, if you really want to keep saying things, uh, please subscribe. It helps us know how much you really like us. Other than just the likes. I mean... It's great, but overall it helps us know that you enjoy the content we're putting out. So, thank you again. I will see you in the next video.